Thank you. Got here at last, loads of bloody road closes in Burnley. We've had to do a big detour. Eh? Huh? Alright. Why would you close an entire road? There must be a big bloody hole or something. What a bloody country, isn't it? Well, I was going to come this way. I thought, yeah, we're on the store bake up. If I'd have come this way, I'd have saved an hour. Quarter to three, I would have been here at two the other way. Well, just for me mum, and the reason I saw them going is they've been, stayed two and a half hours. He went to be exhibiting his Mercedes, so how's he got out up there? And once you're in, you're in, aren't you? Unless one of these gaps is where Ernie's car was. Anyway, I'd head in for home. So they've been two and a half hours. Well, I was fighting around on those diversions. They've been and enjoyed a day out. Only just arrived, I said, yeah, quarter to three. Um, I don't think I'll stay long anyway, unless there's some really interesting cars here. Any brown cars for Sarah? Crabtree, yes. I'm not, I mean, I appreciate engineering that goes into classic cars, but, you know, modern ones don't really appeal to me. And I do like American ones. Prime Stag. Is that an Allegro? Brown car for sure. Austin leg row 1.7. Now, uh, where's the bikes? That chap said there's hardly any bikes here. That's a poor doing it. About 20 last time, three years ago. V8 MG. I should have got a brochure off that chap. Five to come in it was, that's not bad is it? He said, could you have arrived at this time, it's only five pound. I said, oh well. Stay half hour, get to Howarth by four. 
time enough for a couple of pictures, that's all I want. And the reason I want to update my pictures is some, mis some miserable fights, because they're meant to be photographers. And I mentioned my idea of converting the ladies' waiting room at Oakwood Station back into a porter's office for Albert Perks, you know, Bernard Cribbings is a tribute with pictures and a little shrine. And some miserable photographer said, actually, it was a lady's waiting room long before the film. I suggest you update your pictures. So I blocked him. <laughs> Stick it up your ass. Nice, isn't it? I posted something this morning on a Morris Enthusiast Twitter page. Posted a picture of a little Morris. And I said, yeah, there should be electric vehicles. Imagine commuting to work in an electric one of them. It'd be marvellous, wouldn't it? 50 mile an hour top speed, 100 miles range. Oh, it's a ceiling. Hillman. That's a bit like Hillman Avenger, yeah. That's for the escort ship, isn't it? Like I said, I know nothing about cars. Never had one, never been interested in learning to drive. Sorry. In Healy, three litre. Very nice. Another MG with a strange back end. What's he done that for? Oh, I'm glad they're opening up by that, looking at the dashboards. Taxi, wasn't there? What's that? S type. Lovely, that isn't it? The Sterling must have one of them. Good 
Dean, let's have a look in that cockpit. Tribute car. I mean, it's a kit car. He's had a kit car as well. No badge on his day. Yes, I like a bit of Morris Jensen. Foreign vid browsers. English tradition, isn't it? Six pound it would have been, so not a pound of because I've arrived late. Well, where's the bike? It's probably all left. Said only one or two. Links, what's links? Web of collaborations. Are there any bikes here? You've only just arrived. You've seen any motorbikes? Oh well. Last time I came here, 2019, there were about 20 or 30 bikes here. Oh dear. Somebody. I thought some photographer would know. They're here, aren't they? Not a very chatty race, are we? I think motor enthusiasts would be enthused enough to share information with other people. Trans Bonneville with that luggage on. Classic motorbikes and scooters they are. Yeah, I've seen that a few times. KH500, very nice. Spacey 250. <laughs> Oh, a Ural, isn't it? Ural. Oh, a good smell coming from them food stalls. I got a strange exotic burger thing last time. Yes, very nice, CBS. When you read reviews though, they're never very complimentary, are they? They say a bit of a waste of time when the power was only the same as bikes with four cylinders, although they're very smooth running. So I was arriving at three. Maybe a lot of the bikes have gone. I've got two bottles of Lucas here in me uh, bike. It's a nice old roller in it.
Yep, there was a vintage Bentley here. I've always said the uh, Triumph Rocket 3 should have a huge headlamp like that on the front. Lovely that, isn't it? See how modern, 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 modern. Mum said she had a pot around the store. We have to see what's on the store. And some door donuts. Modern cars, modern cars. Ten pop tools. Games in the wood. Which is sources. Garden ornaments. That's one of those figurals, isn't it? Keep seeing them. She got a box of toys. The store one year selling hood ornaments, what I like, you know, them jets and things from the 50s. I was watching Christine, that Stephen King film from 1983 last night. And he had all sorts of wonderful little things on the hoods, didn't they? Little jets and spaceships. Three red mini. You see bangers and cash when that bloody Mini Cooper S was there, falling apart, knackered, and it went for 18 grand. Probably just for the engine, because everything else had rotted away. 18 grand. Yeah, it's a 1275, but what made the S so special, I wonder? He looked under the rotten bonnet and he said, oh yeah, that extra bolt there, that's a true indicator that it is an S. Mini Cooper S. Me, Every time you see one of them, you have to say, but you know, Princess Anne liked them and she had one. <laughs> Jensen Interceptor, right two. A Ford Anglia. Well, not really hungry, despite having any tea last night, because of me, still dodgy tummy. Lou Jensen.
Roy Madford, 70s, forwards, aren't they? These days, worth lots of money. Three leagues to Capri. Hawaiian blue looking like new. Yeah, Sweeney car, isn't it? <laughs> it's a Cortina. Cora Cortina. Volkswagen Carmen Gear. Oh, more stones. D Reg, what's that? 65. Capri there. Well, I think I'll go. Some electric scooters or something. Seen that little more more gonna thing you yeah? modern aren't you but they're still nice. Now can you drive them on the bike license? Sea Cobra, is it a rep or a real one? Catching them jags. What model is that? Super dog era or something. Oh, very nice. 
five, really. Yeah, I'll go back to my bag, I think. If it has been here two hours ago, there might have been a few more bags. And like I said, should I come back tomorrow on the quick route rather than fighting around going to Lady Nelson and then to it to Burnley? GI6 Some Viva mates, the other one of them, they were quite shifty. For sale owing to gas bill. <laughs> Isn't it? Four hundred automatic. I think I've enough for them in my backyard, none I like anyway. Oh, a Honda one there. Yes, ten bobs. 
to the stores. Well, I'm not tempted by an ice cream store in Colgrove. for the car show and half a dozen bike show. I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Might come back, might not. There's no exit, doesn't it? Have a yeah, Sodom. Well, you're alright. turn in that funny little narrow road and then over the hills to Howarth, over at Wuthering Heights. his mind. Do we turn left or right? Turn left, right? I mean turn right, left. Eee. see much of the scenery because of the trees the welcome to Option Hope really I wanted to go to Oakwood first and then sort of back to eat out in case you lock the gates Although I did sat there, I presume they'd be open until at least five. Got this view from the Wuthering Heights tops. Look, I'm still recording. I'm going to change the battery outside the Abdon Bridge car show, but I didn't. Should be okay for another half hour or so. Actually, this top road. Should lead past um, Bench Lane, which is where the three chimney services are going to get another updated picture of the three chimneys house and Bernie's gap in the wall when he came to visit him delivering a parcel. Let's 
saw and found this bend. I want to get the other perspective, so I have to pipe me back or get off. It's all altered. Oh, there's a new tea hut now, that's right. Is it open? Oh, they're working on the bloody platform. What are they doing? I saw these on the camera. They've got a camera now. I was going to tell James Hogg about it, so I could say I'll give you a wave at four o'clock on the. Uh, what do you call them? What's on cameras in location all the time, feeding a live feed? Uh, 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 digging up and replacing stuff. I get a picture of this little spot. When Bernie was uh, pulling the levers. Who oh, are Bernie? This is altered because of its wheels and chains at the back. It's all rotted away, can you see? Here it is, right on time. The Scots fly. Why is it going so slowly? Well, it's all uphill to Scotland, isn't it? Now then, this is Mr. Perk's room, because that fireplace, or the surround, he had his little desk there and a load of papers. And my idea, well, my idea, my suggestion was, have it converted back, get his table back and his shelf full of papers, and you're making a pot of tea and a nice picture here. But they've altered the actual fire, it had dots round before. What was that photographer on about saying? Oh, you want to come up and get your pictures? So they've moved all the memorabilia, that must have been for that event I came to before. That's nice, isn't it? Boot scraper. So, I've got a good perspective there. It's still recording. Is there a bug splat? <laughs>
I've got my skills camera so I'll take a decent picture with it. <coughs> First of May 2010, Shelley was here. Hopefully some snacks as well. Is it just chocolate boys to eat? Is there any any snacks apart from just chocolate? You don't do butties and things, do you? Oh, it's alright. I'll have a biscuit and a brew. I can have a hot chocolate, please. Alright. shelf and chair and desk. Oh, the pictures are in here, see. I think I'll get a picture of that train while I'm uh, waiting for my hot chocolate to cool down a bit. I think it's going backwards. A big green one, seven eight zero two two. Nineteen fifty four, Dar Darlington.
kann ich so ein Handy. Yeah, and brew biscuit, piddle. Timex, he shouldn't have said this crap. Still, I suppose this is all sends it to the period. I just asked a chap uh, in there about that desk and the pigeonhole paperwork compartment. He ain't got a bloody clue. I'm sure that's Bernard's desk from the film and his paperwork file thing. Therefore, it should be back in the bloody poetry's office, shouldn't it? <coughs> so that's Bernard's house with the addition on. Outside Bog is long gone. Who are Bernard? about that book. Looks like staff are going. That's not Jim Shipley. Do not happen then. Where's your recording? I was saying I just checked my map. Right up here, I think, Moor House Lane to go to the Three Chimneys. Uh, the gift shop was open here, no trains, but chap in the gift shop, yes, we have the book here. I said, Yeah, but I wanted a signed copy. Are they signed? Uh, no. Uh, he said, Does it do one at August Bank Holiday? A railway children event. I said, Oh, well, they do like a reenactment and have people dressed up, you know, in Edwardian costumes, reenacting, all very pleasant for families, and you know. So, is this Moor House Lane? No, there is signs, is there? Ah, good, yeah. House Lane. It's on top of here, turn right, and it's the first right down the gravel white path to three chimneys. Where is the junction? Oh, 
not here. I'm sure that's the road home, but it shows it as a dead end on my map unless you have to turn off. So this leads down to Harrow, but Bent's Lane, I think it's where that lamppost is. No, who are you? Here we are, Bent's Lane. Another gravelly path, but <laughs> in honour of old Bernard, I thought I'd get a nice picture with my decent camera. Should have gone in the middle bit, do you think? Nice picture with my decent camera. And also I want to go down and see if they've cut all them bloody weeds down. It was a mass of weeds if I can get near the house to take a picture. I think I'm again a bit obsessed, but I just like the Liverpool lad who does then and now pictures and I'm fascinated by him, you know, the streets in Liverpool in 1895 and some of them look exactly the same, whereas others, like I said on my Liverpool video, were destroyed in the war. So I like that then and now, as you know, with my hometown pictures then and now. So there we are, three chimneys. Still got three chimneys, but it's got an extra two wings. Can you see the wing, the new wings? Oh, there they are. I should turn around one. You can see where we are, can't you? That's that main road I've just been on. Yes, yeah, Bernard's Gap. Not going to fall over, is it? I put it on the stones. Bit of a lot of faff in the ground, but like I said, it's in memory of old Bernard, isn't it? Poor old Bernard. 93. Let's get a picture of Bernard's Gap. <coughs> For my mate, James Hogg. where the camera was. But all this, it's all new. That, they planted all that uh, hedge. It was all open field. And this is where the pony and trap came when they first came to three chimneys.
Oh. The railway does run at the bottom of here, but the actual tunnel and waving at the train scenes from the film weren't filmed here. They were filmed at... Uh, I forgot the bloody story now. See, look at that, it's all overgrown. There's actually two gateposts with little pyramids on. <coughs> To be able to reach up no what's next you see that'd be good wouldn't it shut these blind That'll do, I'm not going in bed. Where am I? that rattle so there we are three chimneys Bernie's gap where he was all them years ago let's get home I think turn left up here sure that road's a way back but we'll have to see what well, it can't be a dead end Still recording for the return journey. <coughs> Poor old Bernard, like I keep saying. Nice old fellow, wasn't he? Did he ever do anything nasty? No, he's a nice chap. He said he was devastated when his wife Jill died last year, and they think he thought he died of a broken heart. You know, rather than anything else. He was devoted to his wife and he said he sadly had a miscarriage after three months and that was it. So he never became a daddy. He was in a lot of other films, She, you remember She, with Peter Cushing and the gorgeous Ursula Andress. He played uh, Peter Cushing's sort of manservant in that. Plus he was in the two Peter Sellers films, uh, Long, was it? The Wrong Arm of the Law and Two Way Stretch, along with 
David Lodge, who played the bandmaster in Railway Children. Other films. You know, with James Mason in uh, one, I forgot the bloody name. Oh, Dots Brew and the Daleks, with Peter Cushing, uh, strange films weren't really part of the BBC franchise. Still they were good, enjoyable films. There were two weren't there, one with Roy Castle and one with Bernard Cribbins who was a copper.